Hello friends. Today I'm going to tell Todd's story. Todd is getting ready to go to university, but he is not good at math. He accidentally meets the charming Vicky, a professional mathematician, and asks her for private lessons. I'm waiting for your likes and comments on this video. Enjoy watching it. Todd is a high school graduate. Together with his girlfriend Kirsten and his friend Paul, they open the envelopes with the results of the university entrance exams. Even though all three pass the exams, Roy, the math teacher, refuses to sign Todd's character reference for admission to Harvard because he failed the test. Sitting on the shore of the pond, Todd is drawing cartoons. Suddenly, the guy hears a scream on the other shore that scares him. For that, Vicky apologizes, she sometimes feels like screaming so much that she can't contain her emotions and disappears. In the evening, the friends go to a party. While Paul tries to glue the girls together, Kirsten calls Todd for a walk to the park. There, seated on a bench and covered with a blanket, the couple begin to cuddle. But after noticing Todd's rubber band, Kirsten takes offense at the guy, because that's not why she invited him here. In the meantime, Paul tries to hide from the annoying girl, and noticing Todd driving the car, runs to him and asks him to get him out of here. On the way, the guys meet Vicky, who is standing on the side of the road next to a broken-down car. Upon approaching the boys, Vicky recognizes Todd, whom she frightened by her screaming at the lake. The guys take the girl with them. Paul tries to compliment Vicky and tells her that she has a very cool car. Except the car belongs to the girl's husband, which she tells the guys. The trio stops at a diner, where Vicky calls for a tow truck. But the tow truck won't be here for another hour, so the guys treat the girl to ice cream. Leaving the diner, Vicky pays for herself and the guys, to which Todd asks that they be allowed to pay for at least the tip. The girl quickly counts it all in her head and names the amount, then says that it's all the credit to the math department. Heading to Vicky's car, Todd tells her about his math problems, and now Todd's life will be ruined if he can't retake the test. But the girl is confident that things will get better for him. Bringing Vicky to her car, Todd persuades the girl to tutor him in calculus, it will save his future life. Vicky promises to think about it. The girl returns home, where her husband Roy, the same math teacher who failed Todd's test, is already waiting for her. And Todd is met at home by his father Jack. He is disappointed with his son's school problems. Todd says that he needs a tutor, and his father promises to help him find one, but his son admits that he has already found a tutor himself, which makes his father proud. Todd arrives at the lake where he meets Vicky. The girl shows up and starts unbuttoning her dress, saying that the answers are somewhere on her body. From behind some man with a gun shows up, screaming that it's his wife. Wow, that was just a dream. At lunchtime, Todd shares the good news with Paul, Vicky did call him after all. In chemistry class, Kirsten apologizes to the guy for that night in the park. She freaks out a little, and she just needs a little time and Todd can get what he wanted. After school, Vicky comes to the boy's house. The boy's parents leave, leaving the two of them to do math. Todd tells Paul about this the next day, whom he is helping with the move from his parents' house to the cottage in the backyard. Even though they only did math with Vicky, those classes were very hot. The lessons with Vicky are not in vain and are bearing fruit. Todd tells the girl this, inviting her to another class in the evening. Afterwards, Todd goes out with Kirsten, and so that the girl doesn't get jealous of him, Todd deceives her. He tells her that his tutor is an older woman. Kirsten asks him to remember that tonight is their traditional dinner with friends, which Todd can't attend because of his tutor class, but promises to work something out. While the guy is studying with Vicky, Kirsten comes to the diner, to Paul's, because a girl can't leave her friend all alone. After a while, Todd arrives at the diner with Vicky, who agrees to let the guy down after class. Realizing that Todd has been lying to her about the tutor's appearance, Kirsten leaves the diner, resenting the guy. In math class, Roy draws a problem on the board and asks Todd for the solution, who calmly gives the correct answer. The teacher is surprised, so he says that Todd's recommendation for admission to university already looks much better. The guy tells Vicky about this, sharing his progress, and then invites the girl to another class. In response, Vicky asks Todd to come visit her himself. She wants to show him her sculptures. Todd arrives at Vika's house. 
The girl shows him her masterpieces, and when he sees them, the guy doesn't understand why she keeps everything in the garage and doesn't show anyone anything. Vicky thinks that everyone will think she is crazy, at least that is what her husband thinks. The girl admits that she and her husband don't really get along, so she enjoys Todd's company. Vicky has a gift for Todd. Seeing what the girl has made with her own hands, Todd thanks her for the gift and kisses her on the lips. Out of surprise, the girl is lost, but doesn't let the guy do it again. They move into the house, where Vicky starts flirting with the guy. Then they do cuddle. Vicky climbs on top of the guy and takes off her excess and shows off her sculptures. Todd tells this to his friend Paul, whom he arrives at in the middle of the night, having finished doing things with Vicky. Paul is not particularly happy about this story and Todd goes home. Paul opens the door to his room, where Kirsten was at the time and heard their entire conversation. At school lunch, Todd approaches the table where Kirsten is sitting. The girl defiantly packs her things and leaves. Todd doesn't understand what's going on? Then the girl screams to the entire cafeteria about Todd and Vicky's connection. The guy only told Paul about it, so he thinks he was the one who told the girl everything. But Paul admits that Kirsten was in his room when Todd was telling him about his classes with Vicky. Todd is angry at his friend, as he thinks he didn't warn him on purpose because he likes Kirsten. Their scolding is stopped by Roy, who, as punishment, makes the boys keep an eye on the safety of his car, which is parked in front of the school. Paul and Todd come outside and recognize the Corvette that Vicky was standing next to the night they picked her up. The buddies realize that Roy is Vicky's husband. Todd rushes to Vicky's house. He is unhappy that the girl did not tell him anything about her husband being Todd's teacher. Vicky didn't pay any attention to it at all. The boy does not understand how she could marry Roy, for he is a tyrant. But according to the girl, he wasn't always like that. Vicky pronounces that Todd had better leave, but the guy starts touching the girl. At this time, Roy is already returning from fishing. Hearing a noise in the garage, he decides to check out what is going on. As Roy approaches the garage, Roy shouts to Vicky, hearing his voice Todd hides among the sculptures. And Vicky pretends to be sawing something out with an angle grinder. While Roy is cleaning the fish, Todd hides elsewhere. On his way out of the garage, Roy asks Vicky for a printer. He has a bright student in his class, Todd, and Roy wants to print a recommendation for him to enter Harvard. Vicky promises to find a printer. When Roy leaves, Todd quietly leaves the garage. At school, Roy approaches Todd. He shows the boy his school notebook, which he found in Vicky's garage. Did he really think he wouldn't find out about anything? Todd panics, thinking that Roy knows about him and Vicky, and pronounces that he has made a terrible mistake. To which Roy, showing him the results of the test, says that there are actually only two. Finding the notebook, Roy realizes that Todd is doing math with his wife, Vicky. Roy promises to write a recommendation for Todd to go to university. In math class, Roy sets Todd as an example to the other students, justifying his cruelty to the students. After class, Roy is approached by Todd, who thinks Roy's cruelty to the students is unreasonable. Todd heads for the exit, but Roy stops him with a question about whether he slept with Vicky. Undeterred, Todd confesses everything. Roy rushes home and Todd tries to warn Vicky, but the girl is busy and doesn't hear the phone ring. When Roy arrives, he starts smashing everything in the garage, at which point Todd shows up. Roy thinks the guy is a genius, thanks to Vicky he reached for math, then slept with her. And Roy also wrote Todd a recommendation for admission to Harvard. By distracting the guy, Roy knocks Todd out. The guy comes to his senses and apologizes to Vicky for what happened, but the girl is even grateful to him because she should have broken up with Roy a long time ago. To Todd's question, what is she going to do next? Vicky tells him that she will go to New York, maybe there's something will work out with her sculptures. A girl sees the boy off and gives him a recommendation for the university. Todd has an interview today, to which the boy runs off, promising to visit Vicky in New York. At the interview, Todd is asked why he wants to go to Harvard. According to the kid, it's his father's dream, but Todd thinks it's not what he needs. Back home, Todd admits to his parents that he doesn't want to go to Harvard, because his dream is art school. Todd goes to the diner where they constantly gather with friends. 
After calling Kirsten for a walk, Todd apologizes for hurting the girl and begs her to never cross him off her friend list. Sometime later, the trio sits on the dock and discusses who they will they be in 10 years? According to Todd, Paul will be working on his supercomputer, and Kirsten will publish her first collection of popular poetry. Todd himself, in Paul's opinion, will be shouting free cash register at McDonald's. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching, like this video, leave a comment and see you on the channel.